So I'm sitting here waiting for all of your posts about your pots. I see a lot of you are going to do these too. This is the one I got at the thrift store that I'm getting ready to. I kind of, I like the bottom of it. I'm going to see if I can get it to work where I keep the bottom and just do something on the top. And that's like someone threw up on the top there. It's really windy out today. I feel like I need the mitten man sitting on my couch over there. I didn't even know who this mitten man was. I was I asked Trav, who's the mitten man I'm seeing everywhere? And then he told me. Trav knows things. Back to my pot. It's all about pot stories here lately. And I probably shouldn't store the paint like this. It's kind of drying out. But that's the salt mixture that I made. I put like a half a cup of salt with a half a tablespoon or just... I just pour it. I do it like, um, you know, like your mother-in-law's recipes when you're like, how do you make this? And she's like... How she makes it that's how I make my salt stuff but I, I use these samples to do the uh, mixtures and these actually I got from my hutch that I'm going to work on probably this week if you missed it when I found it in the thrift store I'll put a picture here but I'm going to do the salt texturized technique on it I'm going to try it I've seen Janet Green Spruce Designs do it and hers looks really cool so hopefully I can be cool like her because she's the pro I'm just a copycat anyways all that to say I got these samples and they're really nice to have because then you can use them for other projects and they're only like two or three dollars don't look at those. I know a couple of you were not happy that I put those in there. If it makes you feel any better, they were not my first choice. I was actually looking for woven baskets, but these were cheaper and big. Those and hide all horrible my... in the cabinet. Someone needs to tell you. <laughs> and they hide all my crap. We have like inside jokes going on here at home about all the... Just by the funny messages we get. Let me give you a full view there so you guys can look at them for a little longer. And don't ever feel like you can't give your opinion. I, I'm always up for an opinion. Just if it's given in a mean or snotty way, we'll probably use it like in a uh, boom roasted Michael Scott episode here at home. <laughs> but I'm happy to change them out today. I could, you know, like send you my PayPal and stuff. It's a happy cabinet. Trav's taken off these middle parts for me little decorative things. Did, did you do this, Ralph? This is like the... No, that was like that when you bought it. I was like, is you that what it's going to look like? <laughs> Side number one is done. So these parts are coming out. The, le the legs will stay. It wasn't looking right with just doing the top, so I smeared stuff all over it because it actually wasn't textured down here. It, they just painted it to look textured. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll paint it some more. I love it so much better without the little parts. Thank you, Drop. There's no deer on the hill. No deer. We haven't seen deer out here in a while. The liquor's all by itself up there. Friends, here are my finds from the thrift store. It wasn't a good thrift day today. It was pretty empty, but I found these and I thought we could try a technique I saw Natalie at Vintage Porch do uh, to make it look Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope.